Anxiety and depression may be confusing, especially if a person is struggling with both. These mental disorders can be comorbid, meaning someone with depression can also have anxiety symptoms, and vice versa. But first, what exactly is anxiety and depression? According to Medical News Today, anxiety disorders occur when a person regularly feels disproportionate levels of distress, worry, or fear over an emotional trigger, while depression is a mood disorder characterized by persistently low mood and a feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Living with both disorders can be challenging. Let's have a look at the different and common symptoms of anxiety and depression. Some anxiety symptoms are, but not limited to, excessive and ongoing worry and tension, an unrealistic view of problems, a sense of impending danger, panic, or doom, restlessness or fatigue, the need to go to the bathroom frequently, and insomnia. Some depression symptoms are, but again, not limited to, the feeling of being hopeless, the loss of interest in things or activities you once enjoyed, appetite changes and weight fluctuations, insomnia or hypersomnia, suicidal thoughts or attempts, and self-harming. Some common symptoms between the two appear to be insomnia, fatigue, and irritability, all of which impair your ability to perform everyday tasks. Both mental disorders, although different, share symptoms, making it difficult to understand which is which. The differences can be observed in how anxiety and depression manifests. Anxiety disorders are oriented towards the future. It is characterized by excessive fear and worry that in turn will affect the person's behavior. This occurs when people overestimate the danger in situations. In severe cases, people will avoid the situation that causes them anxiety. Individuals can experience sensations of impending doom or feeling on edge 24-7. If the anxiety disorder is not controlled on time, people can experience panic attacks and their daily function will become affected. Depressive disorders, on the other hand, are oriented towards the past. People tend to fixate on negative situations that impacted them. Individuals experience diminished interest in most activities, if not all. Physically, depressed people can exhibit psychomotor retardation. This includes slowed speech and decreased movement. Depression also affects sleeping patterns. People will either sleep too little, which can lead to insomnia, or too much, which can lead to hypersomnia. Individuals with depression have feelings of worthlessness, guilt, or emptiness. In severe cases, people will have recurrent thoughts of death, suicide, or make attempts to do so. We hope this video helps you understand what you or a loved one may be going through. Please keep in mind that if you are struggling with either or both disorders, you are not alone. Asking for help does not make you weak, so please don't feel ashamed to do so. If you think you may be exhibiting signs of anxiety or depression, please see a licensed professional. Feel free to share your story with us in the comments below. If you thought this video was helpful, please give us a like and share this with someone you think could use the help.